What's going on guys? Clutch here once again. Welcome back to the channel. We're playing some Farming Sim 19. It is a mod review day today. Mod look, I should say. Uh, today we're looking at a bunch of PC mods. We're looking at two packs actually today. Two mod packs that uh, have been released for Farming Sim 19. These are PC only mods guys. Just a heads up. Not in the mod hub. You'll need to download them. Of course you will find all the links in the description below as always with, the, with my vids. Um, let's take a quick look at what we got going on today, guys. Let's jump into it. Pitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right, guys. Let's start with the John Deere pack you see in front of us here. Um, there's a couple of cool things in this one. Um, obviously, anything John Deere, I'm kind of a fan of. To be honest, I'll do anything I can to get some John Deere stuff. But uh, yeah, it includes tractor. We got some some grass implements and obviously a baler. Now the tractor, it's the uh, 4640. It's okay it has an option obviously to do wheels or you can go with the single wheels in the back there that's really the only option you have for it it um it's okay i, I it's not great <laughs> i'm not a fan of the tinted windows and there's a whole startup sequence when you first fire it up that it goes through for firing the engine and i'll jump into it so you can hear what i'm talking about and if i hit the accelerator it doesn't change that sound so until it warms up then it fixes that I mean okay I guess now once it's up and running then the sounds kind of make sense I don't like the whole startup sequence personally that seems bizarre to me but uh, yeah because every time you jump in jump out it does that uh, lights all work as you'd expect but there's just I don't know it's something it looks a little bit low texture to me um, the paint is kind of a matte color the interior with the windows the uh, the tinted windows don't do it for me either, but that's just me, guys. I get it. I do like the uh, yeah, the engine. It looks good. I like having the fan visible. That's kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, anyways, it's, it is what it is. But it's not something I'm probably going to use personally. I don't find it authentic enough in that sense. But uh, let's jump out here. What I am excited about is some of the implements. So whether it be the mower or more so this baler, because this baler is a little bit different than what we currently have. Uh, what is this, 568? Uh, you know what, we'll take a quick look at all the stuff in uh, the store first, but we'll go take this baler out for a quick uh, a quick look. So the mowers themselves, let's take a look here in the store. Uh, the front mower and the rear mowers, 10,000, 45,000. That seems, uh, the front mower seems like it's reasonable. The rear is a little pricey, I find. It's not bad, I guess. It's comparable to the Splendimo. Um, they're exactly what you'd expect, really. I don't think there's anything out of the ordinary there. Uh, they look good. They look John Deere branded John Deere. I mean, I guess you could almost paint anything green and it'll look similar to that, but uh, nothing too special there. Uh, let's go take a look. Actually, we'll back out here and go over to the baling technology. Now, the baler is a little bit of an oddity. Now, it is priced only at 10000 which is a little bit cheap, let's be perfectly honest. The big thing with this one, though, is 8,000 liters. It does look pretty good, I find. Looks good enough. Um, about 8,000 liters is the size of the bales, whereas the in-game stock balers, these ones are all 4,000 liters. Let's go take that baler out and uh, give it a test. All right, so working with, uh, we got a John Deere, what is it, a 6R right now? And uh, it's 6R, right? Yeah, 6R, there we go. Um, yeah, 6R, we're using the uh, front mower, John Deere mower. As part of the pack and the obviously the baler um the john deere 6r obviously is in game so that's how it looks together it looks yeah, fairly good and you can see we're getting a full bale now we're almost at 8,000 liters like i said this is a little bit bigger than the stock bales well double the size of the stock bales which actually is kind of nice in a lot of cases um one caveat to that would be is if you're making tmr with these bales obviously that's going to cause you some issues because the uh, amount that you're going to be getting for each of the products will kind of throw you for a loop. So it might work for for some instances, other ones it will not. Now, other thing that I noticed with this baler is it allows you to unload early. So if you look down in the bottom right, we're at only 2,000 liters. You know what? That's all we have. Done. There's a 2,200 liter bale. It's finished. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, it does allow you to unload your baler a lot faster, I guess, and in spots where maybe you'd like to. I know there was a mod, I believe it was in 17, that allowed you to, to unload. I know the current game, in-game um, balers, they have to be completely full, and uh, that can be kind of a pain if you get to the end of a field and you're not quite full. 
and you need to unload it. And you can't, because it's not full. It doesn't have the full 4,000 liters. And this one here has got 8,000, so that would be even worse, right? Uh, let's see, I can dump this one off. And now, just to confirm, I do. I did take a uh, the Massey Ferguson over here with a front fork on it. And these are two that I did earlier. Let's see. You can see that this one here, I believe, there we go, 8,000 liters. What's this one here? 4,200 liters. So, I mean, it's it's great that uh, we can now unload early and with a smaller bale size. With this particular bale, get off my forks. But the issue you're going to run into is you don't know. If you unload early all the time, you're not going to know. Um, there's no way of distinguishing without picking it up what, how much how much grass is in a bale or how much hay or straw. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. I still like being able to do that, but uh, it's something you're going to have to use a little bit of due diligence in making sure you know what you're doing, where your bales are going. And especially if you're making uh, TMR with it, that's where you're going to run into an issue because obviously the amounts are going to matter then. But as far as the actual appearance of these bales, they look identical. So just FYI on that, guys. Pretty cool. Pretty happy with it still. Let's, uh, let's go take a look at what else we got. Now it's going to do it for the John Deere pack. Um, pretty cool pack over and all, but uh, we got something else really cool to look at now. So of course you guys saw this uh, a little bit earlier. We have the Class Harvester pack as well that's uh, just been out. Now this one here is the North American branded or North American color schemed Class uh, Harvesters. We've got three different harvesters, um, all of which have the exact same options I should say I guess as far as uh, appearance goes. And then we also have, uh, there's three different uh, harvester headers. There's only two here. There's one more in between these two, the 900. There's a 1050 and the 1200. And then there's also the one corn corn header as well. Um, so there's actually one more header that you don't see here. Uh, other than that, the this pack includes a harvester header, or harvester trailer, I should say. A header trailer. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Um, but as for the harvesters themselves, yeah, there's uh, quite a few different options. So like I said, they all come with either standard wheels, you can put double wheels on them, or you can go down to the the tracks. It's all up to you. Um, and they come with different color or different schemes as far as uh, icons on the side. So this one here has just a, what is it? The class 100 uh, advertising on it. This one here has, what is this one? The Adventures in the Field, Alexian advertising on it. This one has zero ads. And then you also have the option of putting numbers on the side. So five, you can see two on this one, three on this one. Um, so they all have the exact same options as far as that goes. The big difference is obviously horsepower. So um, let's take a look in the store at all these guys. We'll go to our harvesters and I'll scroll over here. There we go. So uh, obviously the 780, this is the Europeans one, uh, but these ones here are the North Americans. So 321 up to 388, depending on your model. Um, and you're going from 503 horsepower up to 526 horsepower. So there's no options for changing engine sizes or anything like that. Uh, you just have obviously your wheels between uh, Trelleborg or Michelin's, but then they all have the same options as far as uh, the actual the actual look of the wheels. Actually, you know what? Look at that. Okay, the Trelleborg don't have the option for the doubles. It's only the Michelin's that do. Interesting. I didn't notice that earlier. So if you go with the Trelleborg, you are going to get uh, extra wide wheels instead of duels. Interesting. Um, other than that, it's the logo option, as we talked about earlier. Those three options, and then, of course, the numbers. That is it. That is all. Uh, as far as size, let's see, is there anything else that's different that I forgot? Oh, the size of the tanks are a little bit different. You're going from 11,000, 1150, all the way up to 1280, or 12,800, 12, I should say. But, uh, yeah, that's really the only difference. So they look identical from the exterior. Obviously, you're just getting a different number on the side of each one of these. So like 780, 770, 760. Um, the one funny thing is it does say that the headers, and we can look at the headers as well, are specific to certain models. But you can run with the small, the 760 will run the larger header, which is all the way over here, the 1200. Um, and I believe it's a 12 meter header. I'll take a look at those quickly as well, just to verify all that stuff. Oops. We'll scroll all the way back over. Uh, headers. Perfect. And there we go. So, yeah, you have, what is it? A 10, a 9 meter, a 10 and a half, and a 12 meter header. Um, but yeah, the smallest, it says in the bottom right there, you see Class Lexian 780. The 760 will power this. So, I'm not sure what the advantage would be of that, anyways. You can see the different prices. 
nothing uh, much to write home about there guys you can see the 12 the 1050 is the one i didn't have out in the uh in the parking lot there but it's available as well um let's just take a quick look now i did there's one thing i did like about this uh the 1200 it was might as well use that's the one i was thinking of move this out of the way give it a drag and we'll fire up the big one this is the uh 780 all right and we'll open the uh harvester up so all the options in the harvesters are all obviously pretty much identical as you'd expect since um there's not much difference in the actual models themselves but one thing that i did find somewhat interesting uh, let's see if we can fire this up there we go is the head control on it uh, let's see if i can remember how to do this now so you can all have the same head control where it moves up and down well this one also has an option to move the head in and out that way i thought that was interesting i mean i don't i don't think it's useful in game for anything however it is kind of cool i don't know i just like having the extra options <laughs> uh one other option let's see if this will work now you have the option of opening the door oh which is kind of cool so if i go inside i can look over open the door up and take a look outside i don't notice any kind of difference in sound mind you but uh yeah, as you open the door you can do that i don't know just something else <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, everything else looks like it works as it should in the limiting test data I've done with this. Uh, looks pretty cool. Anyways, that's it for the class stuff, guys. Of course, I will be putting the download links in the description below, as always. If you have any questions, of course, you can write it down in the comments. Um, as well, guys, these are only for PC, of course. These are not available in the Mod Hub. You will not be able to find them there. You will not be able to get them for console or anything like that, unfortunately, right now. I have no idea if they'll ever come to console or uh, they'll be in the mod hub at any time, but for right now they are only available for PC download, so there is that unfortunately guys, but that's how she is. Anyways, that's going to do it for us today guys. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, comments below as always. If you like this video guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead hit that thumbs down, let me know what's going on there. Other than that guys, we will see you next time. This is Clutch, over and out.